Engineers working at the heart of Japan's nuclear disaster know they've still got a lot of problems to solve. One of their most immediate concerns is cleaning up of Fukushima Daiichi. And in that process is the ever-increasing amount of contaminated water. Earlier this month, crews discovered several leaks in the plant's reservoirs. More than 120 tons of contaminated water got out. In this edition of Nuclear Watch, we'll show you what engineers are going to do to fix the problem. Before that, though, here's a look at where things stand right now. People who work for Tokyo Electric Power Company face an endless series of challenges in decommissioning Fukushima Daiichi. Workers need to keep nuclear fuel inside three reactors cool to prevent another crisis. They pump water into the plant, more than 100 tons for every reactor, every day. The fuel contaminates the water. The liquid has been leaking into the basement ever since the reactors melted down two years ago. Engineers run the water through filters to remove radioactive cesium. Then they re-inject it into the reactors. And they've got another problem on their hands. Groundwater seeps through cracks in the buildings. 400 tons a day. It mixes with what's already there. Engineers keep pumping the water out of the buildings. They store most of it in 1,000 tanks. But more than 80% of them are already full. So, workers dug seven reservoirs. But now, three of them have sprung leaks. We will halt the use of the reservoirs. We'll construct tanks to transfer all the contaminated water from the reservoirs as soon as possible. The engineers are fighting against something that never stops coming. NHK World's Susumu Kojima explains the strategies they'll be working on in the coming months. Typical executives say their objective is to decommission Fukushima Daiichi's crippled reactors within 40 years. In order to meet this deadline, engineers need to solve the problem of contaminated water. They are developing three parallel approaches. TEPCO engineers say they will build more storage tanks to add an additional 400,000 tons of capacity within two years. That would solve their problem in the short term. But with 400 tons of water seeping in every day, those tanks would be full within three years. Engineers are also trying to decontaminate the water inside the tanks, so it poses less of a threat to the environment. They are testing a device they say will be capable of removing almost all kinds of radioactive particles. They say it will bring contamination levels within government-set environmental standards. The third approach is to try to stop underground water from seeping into the facility. Ultimately, it should decrease the amount of contaminated water in the buildings. Engineers are digging wells further inland in an effort to divert the underground water. They say initial tests haven't shown any traces of radioactive particles, so they hope they'll be able to redirect that water towards the ocean. But their pumps can only remove 100 tons of water a day, only a quarter of the amount seeping in. The engineers are struggling to land on a solution that is sustainable over the long term. Until they do, people in Fukushima fear that contaminated water could find its way into the ocean. <laughs>